What's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I got a little bit of a, a different kind of video for you. I'm going to give you guys the full hustle experience. So right now I'm on my way to go pick up a motherboard and CPU, um, a Ryzen 1200 CPU and a MSI B360 or B350 motherboard for 80 bucks. Um, so that's a pretty darn good price. Uh, honestly, for that kind of hardware, I don't think you can really expect to get anything much cheaper than that. So, um, anywho, I wanted to take you guys on a ride. And uh, since this this channel is about PC tech hustle, um, I wanted you guys to see the full experience. So uh, this is me going out to make my first deal. Um, out on offer up I put in an offer with this guy for the, these parts he's not really willing to move uh, as far as leave his house I think he might be a younger guy or something and so anyway I'm gonna drive to him and I was able to haggle the price down to 80 bucks so let's go get that part and uh, check out check it out once we got it alrighty we got ourselves the parts real good condition board so pretty happy with that you never know what you're gonna get when you're doing a uh, bargain hunting on offer up or any craigslist or whatever uh so I, as i thought i think this is a either a kid or younger guy that may not have a car uh that's why i had to drive all the way to his house i ended up driving about 30 miles 35 miles and uh just actually picked the part up from his father so anyway uh, i mean everything's there looks like processor cpu cooler uh io shield which is always sometimes a sketchy when you're picking up a motherboard uh sometimes the seller even has it and forgets to bring it so that's always something i remind the seller of to do but i'm gonna get this part home and uh we'll have another hunt here pretty soon for a gpu that i'm already in contact with a guy uh, in my area to pick up a actually an MSI GPU uh, RX 580 so we'll cover that uh, that hunt soon uh, in the next part of this video all right we got the parts home got the motherboard all hooked up and uh, let's give it a test all right so we got kind of a little mini test bed here uh, Motherboard just sitting on a box, another motherboard box that I've had, and a power supply that I have on hand. Video card that is uh, just powered via the PCI slot, just a real basic thing that I pulled out of a old uh, PC before. Let's get this guy powered up. Um, don't think this motherboard has a power button on, so we're gonna have to jump it. Find me a screwdriver, here we go. All right, now, don't really have anything that shows. It's just jammer screwdriver in here. Come on, there we go. Ooh, it's got some LEDs. Let's see if we get screen signal. We're just gonna load the defaults. Seeming like everything's looking good. Okay. Ryzen 3 1200 quad core. Alrighty. And let's use my dim slot and all that. So, we got a good part. That's tested. So, on with the, uh, we'll be getting a GPU next. And then this build's really going to start coming together pretty quickly. Alright, guys. I forgot to uh, record the before uh, of my journey out to get the next part, but figured I'd try to capture it here uh, as is. So I went out and uh, as mentioned in the other bit of the video, I have a had an RX 580 a guy was holding for me. So here she is. Looking pretty good. Um, it's an MSI 4 gig variant. Uh, for 1080p machine should be more than fine so uh, I'll get this sucker home just get it quickly test to make sure everything looks good and load up a windows make sure it can load a 3d application not a problem uh, but we are looking good so 80 bucks for that or 85 for that card so um, 
So far our total is right at uh, 165 for motherboard, CPU, CPU cooler, and uh, video card. So doing pretty well so far. All right, so let's test out the uh, video card that we picked up uh, on the same motherboard that we tested earlier to make sure it's good. Let's make sure we get this guy all tested out before we go through with the build. Okay. And we got a eight pin power that we need to put on this guy. And let's see what happens. Got fans spinning. Looking good there. It should have Windows OS that we'll be booting into here. Make sure that it can get that far. There we go, looking good. All right, we are looking pretty good here. The device manager, we got a detectable RX 580, so I'd say that pretty well tells us that this GPU should be pretty good. So we'll continue on with getting the rest of the parts and get this sucker built out. What's going on guys? Checking in with you on the next part hunt. Um, I'm driving now actually leaving work uh, I messaged a guy this morning on my way to work uh, he has a Corsair uh, C or M 600 X uh, 80 plus gold or 80 plus bronze uh, certified power supply for sale uh, it's a bit of an older power supply but I'm only gonna get it for 20 bucks so uh, the guy seems like a pretty straight shooter when it comes to like PC parts. It seems like he's kind of on top of his things. He seems polite and knowledgeable. I asked him if there's any prolonged stressful use with the power supply. I said no, just basic computing and um, there's no audible noises, no coal wine or anything like that. So I figured 20 bucks is worth a try. I'll put it on some old hardware in case it does end up zapping anything I'll be okay uh, that's why actually I have a, uh, a dedicated motherboard and kind of set up for that which actually I'll show you guys so anywho um, I am on my way to go meet him and uh, pick up the, the, the part so we'll, uh, we'll sink back just in a moment once I have that picked up Alrighty guys, we've got the part, uh, but we've got a minor issue. So I'll pan over to the part real quick. So there we go. And you might notice something. We got some missing cables to the power supply. So this is a semi-modular power supply, as you can see. And he's missing all the peripheral and PCIe cables so basically all I can do is power up the motherboard and the CPU though the reason I decided to take the part anyway which I could have just said hey sorry junk um, I think I might actually have cables at home that I can slap on this power supply and get it to to, to function as a power supply that I need. I did very quickly also uh, glance at eBay and it looks like you can buy cables too so I'm pretty confident so long as this piece is not gonna you know flat out fry components I can use it and still actually pull off a decent you know steel with this part. If I come out spending an extra few bucks just to get some extra cables and make it work that's okay. But, you know, that's the hustle. That's what this is all about. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get this guy to work and hopefully uh, we get a good part. So I just got back from lunch and... Uh, 
pulled up to the house. I think I got some more parts. So let's go check it out. Sitting on my doorstep. I think these are a couple parts I ordered for the build. Let's see what we got. There's Molly, my dog. Had to put the camera down a second so I can actually open what we got here. Alrighty, so I did make some part orders just because um, I was looking for RAM locally and everybody in the world wants to sell uh, memory expensive. So I found this kit on Amazon and it's a 2x4 gig kit, 2666 megahertz. Patriot is a pretty well known brand. And uh, got this for $31. So, pretty solid. And I also got some new fans that I'm just going to use to kind of dress up the build a little bit. These are some up here 120 millimeter red LED fans. I thought they looked pretty good and I hadn't used these before. So, kind of want to give them a shot. They were only 14 bucks. I've used up here fans before. So looks pretty good they have a pretty basic you know PWM or Molex power connection so these should uh, look pretty good I'm kind of excited to see what these look like so anyway got that in and that in I actually have also ordered a case I was kind of scouring for a case so so as mentioned I've been scouring for a case but I don't really couldn't really find one locally that was decent. A lot of people either are selling them way too expensive or they're just really beat up and bad. So I, I found a pretty cheap case that should be on the way soon um, by DIY PC again. And uh, it, should, uh, it should look pretty good with the build. So we'll have this build pretty much put together or parts on the table in pretty short order. All right, guys, and we're here in the storage closet to snag one of the last parts that we need. Obviously, we need some storage options, right? So I previously, a while back from uh, one of my other builds, I put in an offer with a guy for 60 bucks for four total drives. We got two solid states and two Western Digital Blues. Uh, so that's only going to amount to about 30 bucks total for just uh, one solid state and one uh, spinning drive that we're going to be putting in this build. So... So I'll flip around real quick, take a look at those. All right, we're gonna snag here a Micron 128 gig drive, SSD, and a one terabyte WD Blue. All righty guys, I think I just got in the last part for my build. So let's go see what's outside. All right, looks like I got something sitting out here. Big box. Oh, okay. Take this inside. It's my daughter Reese. She's gonna help me find. What we got here? What do we have? Alrighty, so you know, B Stock does this pretty well. I'm not at all unimpressed here. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can see, you got a 600 watt, 80 plus certified B Stock power supply. I got for 30 bucks. Looks to be in pretty good shape. We got power, and now we can start building. Alright guys, so all in all here is the full build uh, breakdown of all the parts and well, you can see here that everything is totaling up to $318 so I think uh, pretty good for the hustle uh, as far as getting parts at good prices. Um, some of these parts really I don't think I could have gotten any cheaper maybe $5 off the video card but still 85 bucks for something like an RX 580 is pretty darn good I would say so alrighty guys so that covers all the parts in the build uh, specifically at each individual part and their use case for the build and the cost and how I acquired them so 
now let's put it all together and uh, hopefully put together ourselves a little potent little gaming PC. Then fly to home But if you wanna travel Then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us If I never know Yeah, if you're gonna leave I'ma let you go I'm tired of the Where were you when my heart was on the ground? I thought time 